so in looking at some of these props I have been just trying to find and circle the things like the repeated assets that are going to be made so here is my Purif document where I'm just looking at all the panels putting them all in one sheet so then I can just you know make them check them off and it's just the side view of this and right now I've just been paying attention to like these kinds of details how these ones are made are these just like straight like uh, you know decal type details that are mapped in here or is it just like um, hardened uh, sorry weighted normals and to me it looks like they're weighted normals um, with just you know a tiling material on top which means that any ambient occlusion is just screen space ambient occlusion actually I wonder let me check if I can turn that off um, custom let's see off yeah it looks like there's no no ambient occlusion on that it's all done through screen space or H what is this one advanced AO HBAO I'm not sure what HBAO is but it looks like this HBO HBAO full is putting in those like indented uh, details I wonder if I turn that off and this is just my big question is to get that AO um, do you you know do you have to rely on like a trim sheet thing where you bake the AO in and it looks like in this case they're not doing that unless this is getting um, ambient occlusion from you know from like like this looks like it's baked in some of this ambient occlusion data so I think for this there isn't any ambient occlusion and that's handled through screen space stuff this is just hard modeled in with weighted normals so that's was some of the tests that I did um, and this I think was very informative so I modeled this, baked it onto a plane uh, using Substance Painter because they have better ambient occlusion options. Um, anyway I won't go into that right now but so this this is what I got this middle one is the method there and it's pretty good. Um, so this this has a normal map on and it has ambient occlusion multiplied in with just a um, a roughness uh, it's just like a, a world or an object object uh, man I'm not doing very good right now so an object space mapped uh, noise texture for the roughness uh, and actually using two different materials so just the base material in this and I I think um, this is good results. It, you know, it, at a glance, it's it's pretty smooth. Um, so yeah, that that works all right. But then there's also this method. So I I did the same thing and I took ambient occlusion. I I put in the ambient occlusion, but took off the normal map and I just tried, you know, just our own bevels. Um, and it's this this one is less desirable because on here we can see like we have a good you know a nice rounded edge but then I did this the first time and the outside mitre was changed to sharp and you know that I mean I don't know it's it's passable I guess like I think that's what they're doing in the actual game um, but 
I wonder if the better option is not to keep the outside mitre sharp, but instead do the same thing. And this is what this is here. Change the outside mitre to uh, arc. And in this case, I think at a glance, it kind of softens things up. It rounds things out. And I think it's okay. Um, I think that's what they must be doing in the game. Is, I mean, I think they're doing this method and not actually baking anything in and using a, a detail map there. Just tiling, tiling textures. Um, so anyway, this has been some good lessons. And here, like, the edges are darker here, if you haven't noticed. And the reason for that is, as well, when baking the texture, I baked it to a plane. So all the normals were you know, flat, which means that when you when you put this normal on something that's flat, it'll look right. It'll look, you know, like this, top down. But, uh, so like, if I just switch this to uh, this normal mat cap, like this is what it expects. It expects for this, if I'm looking at it straight down, then these colors will represent this shape properly. But because I'm not doing just... Um, because the normals aren't... Let's, let's back up a bit. If I have a plane here. If I look straight down, it expects... Okay, if it's on a, if it's on a purple, like a straight normal, then these colors will make up this detail. But... I'm actually putting it on normals that are not just flat, like I'm putting it on different normals, so then it's kind of like doubling that, so it's getting like shaded um, hard, so if I didn't want, <laughs> too long didn't read, if I didn't want these, these, these sides to be really dark, I would, um, I would need to bake this on something not on a plane, but like a low poly version of this. Like basically what this is without the modifier. So this is my high poly. We turn this off. I'd have to bake it onto something like this. So that it would accurately, like these in the normal map would be um, purple instead of, you know, all these different shades. So that we'd only have nice curvature here. So that it's not double making up for these edges. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think to anyone that knows any intermediate modeler would probably follow along with that. Um, anyway, so I think conclusion, this could be a good like uh, trim detail because I'm still working out, I'm still planning and experimenting to see like what the best method or approaches are. Um, and I think this could be a good detail like two and then three um, and then having that repeat in like a trim sheet if depth wasn't necessary or you know if if it was okay to look flat or something um, but I do want to give it depth and I think you know Unreal Engine should have a similar like AO solution that this engine I don't I'm not sure what engine they're using but uh, if I just turn that back on See, this looks fine, and that's probably what we'll use for the final result. Anyway, I just trying to do a study on what these shapes, how to make these shapes. Are there trims, details, or are they just straight modeled in? And it looks like they're straight modeled in. And I don't think there's any normal map, but this uh, right here, this detail actually looks you know that's a, that's a detail or a, a trim sheet projected on there um but for some reason i'm not seeing the like the normals of the inside edge cuz you can definitely see it on the one above and the one below but that one doesn't i can't see any so i'm not sure what's going on there i i would assume that you could still get those like that looks you know like a plane just added on top and maybe that's what it is maybe it's just a plane just added on top so that the mesh doesn't have to have like two different materials that could be what's going on i don't know 
Um, but it's uh, interesting for sure. Anyway, so that's that's just some studies. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs>